chemical property which is represented by alkane is oxidation. This is one of the most important property of alkane. In the presence of excess supply of air, there will be complete combustion of alkane will takes place. So it will convert into CO2 and H2O. During this reaction, there will be large amount of heat is released because of that alkanes are used as a fuel. Example, LPG, kerosene, petrol, diesel, all these are example of alkanes which are used as a fuel because in the complete combustion they will liberate a large amount of heat. Example, CH4 when heated in the excess supply of air then there will be complete combustion takes place so the formation of CO2 and H2O will takes place so whenever there will be formation of CO2 and H2O is taking place it means this hydrocarbon is completely combusting in the presence of oxygen okay you have to balance the reaction according to the number of carbon present in the alkane so in this case what will be the balancing of reaction two so the number of water molecule which will be released is 2. During this reaction, this reaction is highly exothermic reaction because of that the energy which is released 890 kilojoule per mole. This is high amount of energy because of that they are used as a fuel. Greater will be the number of carbon in the chain, greater will be the energy will be released. Okay. Example in LPG. It is combination of butane and isobutane. Thikhe? Kerosene, petrol, diesel, these are the example of alkanes which are producing high energy. So they are used as a source of energy. Thikhe? So next is second, this is first. First is complete combustion. This is complete combustion because in this, uh, this methane is completely converting into CO2 and H2O in the excess supply of air. Okay. Second will be incomplete combustion. This is occurring in the presence of limited supply of air. Okay. limited supply of air so what will be the example when ch4 is reacted with oxygen and oxygen is present in limited supply then there will be formation of carbon monoxide and water will takes place the number of oxygen will be three these are two and this is four so the number of CH4 will be 2. So this is the balance reaction. You have to represent every time the balance reaction. Okay. Next incomplete combustion. Second example of incomplete combustion. When CH4 react with oxygen. Okay. Then there will be formation of carbon and water. This is known as carbon black. This is known as carbon black. And this is used in paint varnishes okay inks okay this is used in paint varnishes and inks in this case there will be limited supply of ch4 instead of o2 okay in this there will be limited supply of hydrocarbon will be done okay instead of o2 okay so there will be formation of carbon black will takes place third example of incomplete combustion is when ch4 react with steam at temperature of 1273 Kelvin and the catalyst used is nickel. In this case, there will be formation of carbon monoxide and hydrogen will takes place. In this, you have to balance the reaction. Okay? So the reaction is balanced. Why it is balanced? Because the number of hydrogens are 4 plus 6. And in this case, so the reaction is balanced. Okay. This is known as syn gas or synthesis gas. Okay. This is also the example of incomplete combustion. Next oxidation is catalytic oxidation. As you can understand with the term, in this case, the oxidation will take place by the help of catalyst. So if the catalyst will change, then the product obtained of the oxidation will be different. So what will be the product's example? First, 
CH4 in the presence of oxygen and pressure is 100 atmosphere temperature is 573 kelvin and the catalyst is a copper tube so when the catalyst is copper tube then there will be formation of methanol takes place so you have to balance the reaction so what will be the balancing of this reaction ch4 will be 2 so the number of molecule of methanol will be obtained is 2 theek hai second ch4 react with o2 in the presence of catalyst mo2 3 theek hai molybdenum oxide molybdenum oxide in the presence of heat when present then there will be formation of formaldehyde takes place and removal of h2o theek hai so the reaction is different in both the condition because the catalyst are different so the product is also different this is known as formaldehyde next is third when the catalyst is silver oxide and there will be hydrocarbon that is higher hydrocarbon is taken then there will be formation of acid will takes place removal of h2o will takes place theek hai so you have to balance the reaction so what will be the reaction in this case there will be two molecule of h2o will be released so the oxygen will be 3 and two molecule of this two molecule of this fourth in the presence of kmno4 or k2cr2o7 that is potassium dichromate alkane will not show the reaction theek okay? hai these are behaving as oxidizing agent alkane will not directly react with them but in the case of branch chain alkane if the tertiary alkane is taken then these reagent then these reagent will oxidize this hydrogen so what will happen so either kmno4 will be taken or k2cr2o7 which are behaving as a oxidizing agent so there will be formation of alcohol takes place that is tertiary alcohol so this reaction of kmno4 and k2cr2o7 will only be shown in the presence of when tertiary alkane is taken next chemical property which is represented by alkane is isomerization as you can understand with the term isomerization it means in this one isomer will be changes to another isomer in the presence of reagent that is catalyst so what will happen example ch3 ch2 ch2 CH3. This is N-butane in the presence of AlCl3. That is catalyst. Medium is HCl. Temperature is 573 Kelvin. At this temperature, it will be converted into another isomer. ठीक है? This is isobutane and this is N. butane theek hai so this is the example of isomerization next reaction represented by alkane is aromatization this reaction is shown by those hydrocarbon which are having 6 to 8 carbons so in this case the condition is carbon number should be either 6 to or c8 theek hai in this case the catalyst which are used cr2o3 chromium trioxide vanadium pentaoxide molybdenum oxide and this is supported by al2o3 these catalyst are supported by al2o3 theek hai the pressure condition which are present is pressure is 20 atmosphere temperature temperature is around 773 kelvin theek hai so this is the reaction condition of this aromatization so what will happen in this condition ch3 n hexane is taken this is n hexane catalyst which are used cr2 o3 v2 o5 that is vanadium pentaoxide molybdenum oxide and these catalyst are supported by al2o3 theek hai these catalyst are supported by al2o3 which is known as alumina 
the pressure of this reaction medium is 20 atmosphere and the temperature is 773 kelvin at this temperature cyclization will occur okay it means the n hexane that is a straight chain hexane is converted into cyclic isomer so there will be formation of cyclohexane will takes place okay so it means the straight chain alkane is converted into cyclic system so they are ring chain isomers okay so the cyclization is taking place further dehydrogenation will takes place so there will be removal of three hydrogen molecule so because of that there will be formation of that is benzene is taking place this is aromatic hydrocarbon so this reaction is known as aromatization aromatization is a combination of isomerization this step is isomerization and this step is dehydrogenation so aromatization is combination of isomerization and dehydrogenation second example of aromatization this is n heptane there are seven carbon in the alkane so what will happen the condition reaction condition is cr2 o3 and pressure is 20 atmosphere so the first step of aromatization is cyclization Okay. And this step is known as isomerization. Which type of isomer is represented by this step? Ring chain isomer. It means chain form is changes to ring formed. Okay. Whether the carbon number are more than 6, but every time there will be cyclization of 6 carbon. It means this will be methyl cyclohexane will be formed. Okay. So it means every time we will get benzonoid hydrocarbons. Okay. So what will be the next step? That is dehydrogenation. How many hydrogen will be removed in this case? Three hydrogen. So there will be benzene ring formation and one substituent that is CH3 and this is known as toluene. Next property which we will be going to study in alkanes that is physical property. What are the some physical property that is boiling point, melting point, solubility, density. These physical property depends upon the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecule. As alkane molecules are non-polar because of the electronegativity difference between the bonds that is CH bond is very less due to which these bonds are non-polar because of that there is intermolecular force of attraction which is van der Waal force of attraction between the molecule because of the bonds are non-polar these molecules are non-polar because of that in these molecules in alkanes there is force of attraction which is van der Waal force of attraction van der Waal force of attraction depends upon the shape and size of the alkane it depends upon the shape and the size of alkane. Greater will be the surface area, greater will be the surface of contact between the molecule, greater will be the van der Waal forces. Okay? So the first physical property which we will be going to study that is boiling point. Greater will be the molecular mass of alkane, greater will be its boiling point. So because of that C1 to C4 carbons are in gaseous state whereas C5 to C17 carbons are in liquid state and, and C18 onwards carbons are waxy solids. So greater will be the molecular mass, greater will be the increase in number of units of CH2, greater will be its boiling point. With every increase of CH2 unit, within the molecule in homologous series there is increase of 20 to 30 kelvin temperature in boiling point okay this difference of temperature is shown by lower uh, alkanes whereas in higher alkanes this difference of temperature is not that much observable okay so greater will be the molecular mass greater will be the surface area of the molecule if greater will be the surface area of molecule then greater will be the inter 
intermolecular force of attraction that is van der Waal force of attraction. This force of attraction is dependent upon the surface area. Greater will be the surface area of contact within the molecule, greater will be the van der Waal force, then greater will be the boiling point. Okay. So in the case of straight chain alkane, n-hexane, the boiling point of n-hexane is greater than its branched system So in this case, this is neohexane. In this case and in this case, there will be difference in boiling point because in the branch chain alkane, there is a surface area will decrease. Okay. So the branch system actually acquires the spherical shape because of that the area of contact will become minimum due to which the van der Waal force of attraction will also become less. Okay. Because in the van der Waal force of attraction, greater surface area will be required because of the greater surface area yeah, there will be greater surface of contact within two molecules due to which the van der Waal forces of attraction will increase okay? whereas in the branch system because of the branch system is acquiring the spherical shape due to which the surface area of contact decreases due to which the boiling point of this branch chain alkane is less okay? so the straight chain alkane is having higher boiling point so the van der Waal force are higher in straight chain alkanes due to which the boiling point of a straight chain is greater than branched chain system. Next physical property was melting point. In the case of melting point, melting point is not only dependent upon the shape and the size of the molecule, but it is also dependent upon the how the molecule packing within the lattice structure. Greater will be the packing of the molecule within the lattice structure, more will be its melting point. Because of that, the even number of carbon example in this case, how many number of carbon are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. This is hexane. This is even number of carbon. Whereas in odd number of carbon, example, heptane. In the case of even number of carbon and odd number of carbon, even number of carbon is having higher melting point. Okay. Even number of carbon is having higher melting point than melting point of odd number of carbon. Why is that? It is because of the packing. In the case of even number of carbon, the packing was much more efficient in the lattice structure in comparison to odd number of carbon. Example, this is even number of carbon, okay? this is butane, okay? this is bond line formula, butane. When the packing is represented within the adjacent molecule of butane, then the structure will be represented like this. These are the adjacent molecule. In this case, the alkyl group that is the terminal methyl of two molecules are in opposite direction. The terminal methyl of two molecules are in opposite direction because of that the steric hindrance between these molecules, these methyl, adjacent methyl is very very less. Because of that the packing is much more efficient in even number of carbon due to which the melting point of even number of carbon is higher. Whereas in the odd number of carbon, so these are the terminal methyls in odd number of carbon, this is pentane chain. So adjacent molecule which will be present next to it, its methyl will be also in the same direction as of first. The steric hindrance between these terminal methyl because they are very near to each other because they are in the same direction due to which the packing of odd number of alkanes is very less efficient. Okay. So due to which the melting point of these odd number of alkane is less in comparison to even number and this effect is represented as alteration effect. This odd even representation of packing in the alkane is represented by alteration effect which affects the melting point of alkane.
नेक्स्ट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी इज सॉलेबिलिटी द जनरल रूल ऑफ सॉलेबिलिटी इज लाइक डिजॉल्व लाइक इट मीन्स द पोलर कंपाउंड्स आर सॉलेबल इन पोलर सॉलवेंट वेयर एज द नॉन पोलर कंपाउंड्स आर सॉलेबल इन नॉन पोलर सॉलवेंट सो द एल्केस आर नॉन पोलर दे आर हाइड्रोफोबिक दे आर नॉट सॉलेबल इन वॉटर और एनी अदर प्रोटिक सॉलवेंट बिकॉज द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कार्बन कार्बन एंड द कार्बन हाइड्रोजन इज नेगलिजिबल बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे आर नॉन पोलर due to which they are soluble in non polar solvent example ether benzene hexane heptane these are some non polar solvent in which these alkanes are soluble example petrol is used for dry cleaning of cloths which are having grease stain why petrol is used for dry cleaning in not water because water is hydrophilic whereas grease is hydrophobic which is made up of higher hydrocarbon and petrol is made up of lower hydrocarbon because both are hydrophobic so by the help of petrol the grease stain from the cloth can be removed. moved because these grease molecules are soluble in petrol instead of water fourth point is density density of alkane is less than water because of that they float over water so these are the some physical properties of alkane in the next video we will be going to study the preparation of alkane